list is Super Mash. So this is a game that just came out today and the way it works, I'm about to show you. So let me just sign in here. So you and two friends have a game shop and in this game shop you've discovered a games console that uses two cartridges. And when you put two cartridges in, it makes a brand new game. I'm about to show you. So continue the game. So here's the shop. This is the guy that you get to play as. Uh, this, and you can see the shop is mostly toys. But here's the console in question here. And you go up to it and you choose one genre of game from stealth, shoot 'em up, JPEG, and all that stuff. And then you choose the second one, and it makes a brand new game. So because you two are here, EP and Nathan, you can choose a category each, and we'll see what happens. So we've got platformer, stealth, shoot 'em up, JRPG. Metrovania, Action Adventure, and Platformer. You cho both choose a genre each and we'll see what comes out. Okay, so Nathan's giving us a JRPG, of course. Platformer. Okay, so JRPG Platformer. Troll Hijinks. Okay. Let's see what you two have created. Valterian Malik. Free health, free speed. With a weapon of a copper axe and special abilities. Digiguy and Scout. I don't know what those mean. No current glitches active, but the goal is to sell the silver sword, axe, and spear. All right, well, let's get to it then. Well, I can see the JRPG element already. Oh, <laughs> Digiguy and Scout. Oh, they're my teammates. Ah. Oh. Now, Digiguy, what can you do? Advanced healing, and he can stun. He can summon a pipe. Wow. Hit him with the sword, and he's dead. And 59 coins with 8 XP. Yay! We are now JPEG Masters. Another chest, an angelic bow. <laughs> he was very excited about angelic bow. Yay! Do you know what? Let's summon a pipe and see what happens. Twang. Take that yellow dice. That blue one doesn't look too happy. Summon the pipe! Oh, it's... It just fell from the sky and then turned 2D. Didn't know what to expect, really, to be honest. Like, we're mad. Well, we're mad because you've only got three teeth. Arr. Also, I'm failing to see where a platformer comes into this. Let's sell the silver axe and the silver spear. Now, just to find the silver sword. Show us an attack where I could just hit all of them. Striking suplex. One of them just performed a wrestling move on me. It says, did you guys asleep? I can clearly see the guy is struggling to close his eyes. There's the silver sword. All right, let's go sell it and finish this game. Mash complete. The potatoes are complete, yes. Valterian Malik. So we, okay, so these are the things that you can um, use in other games but they only can be used under certain conditions it's down to the viewers what mash it's gonna be so i think yeah so nathan ep chrissy if you're back or whoever the mysterious fourth person is do feel free to give me two genres of games right now ep chooses shoot him up and Stealth. Okay. All right. So you two made robot memorandum. Observe how it moves with immense precision, ever so lightly, towards its ultimate goal: to win the war single-handedly in under seven minutes. All right. That's our objective. We gotta win war in less than seven minutes. Mongoose. Uh, we're over here, mongoose. Weapon is homing missiles. Do we have any glitches? Critical damage and enemy healed. Ooh. So sometimes you get glitches in the game. Green is a good one, red is a bad one. Not a really a... I think you just healed a random enemy. No, I didn't. I just fired my twin missiles. Look at them go. It's happening with every attack I make. What an ass. What the... What is going on? There are flying scientists. And now I'm disguised as a box. What a writing story. <laughs> Alright, you guys made a weird game. 
I'm a man flying through the desert called Mongoose who can fire missiles from his hands and disguise himself as a box going against the ultimate war against flying scientists. You guys have got strange imagination. Oh no. I'm not even sure if I can kill them. I think my missiles are just for show at this point. But how do I win war? That's the question. Oh, I have to kill enemies? Is that? I have to, yeah. Wait. Yeah, I have to kill however many enemies in seven minutes, but they keep regenerating every shot I make. I like, oh shit. Oh no. Retry. All right, you know what? No, we're not trying that one again. That was too much of a pain in the ass. Chrissy has chosen JRPG. Tim. Metrovania. All right, let's see what you two have come up with, shall we? Hero Soldier. And we've got Frogman and Angry Monk with very bright nipples. Yin. Two health, three speed, and big pink nipples, which are just clapping together. Are you guys seeing that? Are you seeing those nipples clap together right now? That's disturbing. Okay, so I'm starting with a training sword and two allies, Piper and Chuck. Uh, sometimes we will randomly gain health and sometimes the enemy will randomly spawn. We have to collect the Emirate of Mirin. Okay, so this is the J JRPG element of it, obviously. But where is the... Uh, those nipples are bright lethal weapons, indeed they are. Just looking at it back on the stream, I can just imagine his nipples going. In fact, there they are, you can see him bouncing right now. Oh, is that the amulet of knowing down there? Oh, I couldn't get in. Oh! <laughs> There's the Metro game that you chose, Tim. One. Out of place ally. Chuck. Alright, so Piper, she's first. She has an iron staff. She knows the infernal spell. She can't summon anything. Now let's just attack this thing which they did not have a design for, so they just made it a black blob. He has got some proper boobs. Look at that, she killed it. And now Chuck's wasting all his ammo. Typical American. We just won the game. That amulet was all we had to collect. And it was right there in the corner. Wow. And that was supposed to be normal difficulty. That was certainly um, a game. Just walking to the bottom right corner. I know, right? I didn't think that adventure would end, but it's so tear-jerking when your series that you love so much just comes to an end, right? We're going to do it this way. Um, everyone, type in a genre into the chat, but don't press enter, just have it on standby. So, just go and go through all of them again, so you can see what there is. And when I say go, press enter. The first two to come up is what we'll play, and then the next two to come up is what we'll do after this one. Alright, so I'm going to give you 10 seconds to type in what you want. Okay, first one came up was Platformer. And the second one is... Action Adventure, okay. So, a Platformer Action Adventure. Deadly Wisdom. Beginner game designer. Used all genres at least once. Sweet. Okay, so we've got a pseudo Mario clone here. Oh no. I got an M for mmm, bacon and bagel. Wait, hang on. I've got a ground pound. I may be able to. Yes! I killed two at once and I did it. We won. We won. This is quite an, quite an interesting way to explain it. Yeah. We've only found one M though. All right, what kind of cards did we get? Kill a random enemy. The legendary sword of Terror. And t 10 tokens. Oh. Hey guys, uh, my friend Simon, we went to school together and he works for Softech now. I asked him to look at the machine. Why? 
Huh. You just reek of virginity, Simon. He's an adult virgin. Can you show me what this thing does? Sure, check it out. It does that. Now piss off. That's incredible. Where did you find this? It buzzes. Oh my god. Oh look, we're the flying man again. Mongoose. Two speed, three health. Vulcan cannon. Where am I firing this from? I would like to think that my gun is attached to my zi uh, zipper. So now we've just turned into Dragon Ball. Okay. So, now we have to have something which is a platformer. And something else. You need to do JRPG too. Can you do both? Maybe. Let's give it a try, shall we? We can play as Yin or Valtarian Malik. We can have a fireball because there's only one card. Let's put a fireball in there. A glitch. Kill a random enemy. Why not? And music. All right. Which character should we go with, guys? Valtarian Malik or Yin? Or should we see if the game's going to give us a new one? What do you reckon? So do we go with original character, the old man, or uh, Clappy Tits? Clappy Tits Yin. Right, we got two for Clappy Tits, so Clappy Tits it is. All right, let's get started. Crushing spells. From 1989, apparently. I'm not sure how, but you are killing random enemies on screen, am I? My guess is that it was me turning left. Really? Turning left kills enemies on screen? Yeah, look, just go back and forth, kill all the enemies. Put on, like, the stereotypical Chinese voice for this guy. <laughs> the hell's going on down there? I don't know if that's an actual bug or if it's just designed that way. But I'm going down. A door to another place. Use a connector. Okay. I leveled up. Enable float on button press. I'm a ninja man. I float like the air. I float up for the air like a bumblebee. And I sting like a butterfly. Well, you're dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. All the nines. Ooh, S. I found an S. S for sting like a bumblebee. My jump height has increased. It, yeah, it has. Ooh, and whole axe. It's a mithril. Anything beat 20. Yes, the mithril axe does. Not that it matters, because I have the ultimate weapon. Turning left. Ow, my head. Oh, there they are. I'll get there eventually. Give me a minute. Exactly. Tim knows how to win war. Turn left. Well, this slowed right down, didn't it? Aha! You thought you were going to get me. Oh, shit. Nearly spiked my head. See? I see a H. Am I going to spell shit? Oh, okay. It's mash. I wanted it to be shit. Can we even call it a glitch? I got all of mash. All the potatoes are mine. All of them. A lumine dagger. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. That made me poo a little bit. Okay, so I think I found the person I meant to save. It's just that I can't break them out because it takes too goddamn long. I guess all I can do is just keep whacking it until something happens. <laughs> and then I can play the game. <laughs> That's ice. Am I just meant to use my firewall on it? Oh, there we go. Linda! Oh, <laughs> My slappy tits save the day. Let's get ourselves a developer's back and see what happens. Yep. So we get three regular cards and a foil. And we got... Central Apocalypse Level. The Sharp Sword, which is not dull. 
I think that's the foil one. So now we permanently have the sharp sword, uh, the J2 battle wagon enemy, and a game plus one ammo glitch. Nice. We shall do one more, and then I think we'll call the stream. All right, so Chrissy. Chrissy, you choose one of those categories there, Metrovania, Action, Adventure, and Stealth. Aka, uh, Tim, you choose the other one. And then after we've done that one, we will choose whatever's left, and Aka can choose the uh, genre to go with that. I like this game. This has been fun. Would you guys like to see it again? Just out of sheer curiosity. Okay, so... Metromania for Chrissy. And how about you, Aka? Action Adventure. So, Metrovania Action Adventure. So, Tim, you're still here. Think of a genre that we're going to do with stealth that we haven't done yet. Uh, yeah, you can do um, stealth, stealth, Aka. When I was testing this today, see if it works, I did stealth, stealth. And it made a Metal Gear Solid game. Hang on, did I just see what I thought? I thought, look! Tim, look there! Fucking rip-off from Metroid. A sharp sword, but I have gun. And now the negative glitch is taking effect. Random fire. Sudden fire. Don't worry, Chuck. I saved you from you hiding in the corner. You call this an ambush? You puss. Last game of the stream coming up. Tim, if you are still here, after I get this pack, uh, stealth is one of your genres. What is the other one going to be? What do we get this time? Our permanent card is a chaff grenade. It makes your pants itch, gives you serious cha chafing. Uh, stealthy platformer, okay. Stealthy platformer. Let's put, a, yeah, we'll put a dun dun in it. Infinite chaff grenades. Well, I can use that infinite times. Let's use another kill random enemy, shall we? All right. Let's see what Tim's game is. Stealthy melee. There's our stealth hero right there, everyone. A guy who can't hear a thing because he's listening to music and a giant nose. Damn it. Grenades out. Oh, there's a glitch. Enemies have spawned in. My grenades, they do nothing. Yeah, my grenades do nothing. I may have to retry. You gotta turn around. You gotta do a free... No, he's asleep. And I'll take the coin. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Oh, no. It's not a coin. It's a ration. What the hell's going on here? Okay. We just entered a whole new game now. Uh-oh, it's one of these levels. Damn. Well, that was a, a bugger and blast. We need to go look down next, which gives me plenty of time. Well, god damn it. Well, god damn it. Oh wait, can I jump on them? I can jump on them, okay. That's a game changer. The physics on those fireballs don't seem right, if I'm honest. Oh wait, is he one? If the enemies keep spawning in, what, well, maybe I just need, there's a guy that I need to kill, that gray one. So maybe if I just keep getting caught and spawning him in, might be okay. Oh look, yeah, I could just keep going back and forth to kill the guys I need to kill. So this isn't really a stealth mission, more of a, kill everyone mission. I see a weapon chest down there though. What goodies will be in there for me? It's a noisemaker, of course. I'm enough of a noisemaker. I can just sit at the back going <laughs> and I think they'll come running. This is what the training from Super Mario has prepared me for. All right, and now for the final few kills. Possibly. Yep, there he is right over there. Have a fireball. Okay, that didn't work, have a fireball. I'm gonna jump on your head. It's the kill even Schwitter. And we did it. And I jump on your grave. Ha ha ha. Alright, well, I think we will call it there for the day, people. The 
let's just see. His mind is blown. Got a request. What do we get from the request? Ooh, cards. Extra cards. And 35 tokens. Very nice indeed to do. So, back to what I was saying. Thank you, everyone, for coming along and watching this game. I enjoyed this. I thought it was quite cool. If you guys would like to see more, do let me know, whether it's in the comments below, in the DTG Discord, or if just by letting me know in chat. If you like what you saw, please do let me know, and remember, you're always welcome at the, uh, the Spectrum. I messed up my own outro like an idiot.